What's up guys, Jason here. I am down in the nerd lair. I sold a bunch of Xbox 360 games from that lot I purchased in a recent video. Also sold a few other things on eBay. If you're new to my channel, I don't do eBay full time. This is just a casual side hustle for me. I'm not paying bills with money I make off eBay. Typically, I just buy other games I want for my video game collection with the profits. If you're interested in seeing what I sold, stick around. We're jumping right into this. I sold a Halo 2 for the 360. This is a special collector's edition steelbook. And I got $15 for it somewhere in here. I do like the art on the back of this, but I don't like the front. And there's no slip cover with this. This is just something from my collection. I was keeping it for a while, but I'm able to part with this nail. $15, that's not bad. Sold another Xbox 360 game, Medal of Honor Limited Edition. Sold this for $585. And that's about the lowest I'll go on single games because at that point, I'm still making a dollar. There we go. Guys, say hi to Mikey, that's my assistant. Basically, all he does around here is just uh, shit on the floor and piss everywhere, and he's very annoying, but he's not paid, so it's all good. I sold a Nintendo GameCube cord. This is an extension cord for the controller. Not very exciting to look at, I agree. I got about $9 and something cents for this, but what's more exciting is this whole uh, shoe rack here full of random cords that I need for all my random systems in my collection. This was really packed to the brim and a few months ago I really cleaned this out, just got rid of all kinds of junk, stuff I did not need, and it all sold pretty quickly. I was surprised it had a lot of value to it. But this will be easy to ship. I sold another lot of Xbox 360 games. I labeled this as a children's lot and I think that worked out well because it sold fairly quickly. And it's more than I would have got selling these individually because individually they're probably worth about three or $4 each. And of course you can't make money on that after shipping. But I sold these as a lot for $18. Somebody's gonna be happy with this. This is a perfect children's lot. Somebody can use it for a daycare, etc., etc. I think I can make about two more of these and that's what I'm gonna do. Sold another action figure, a reproduction Donatello Ninja Turtle figure. I got this from Ross years ago for like $4. Something happened weird with this about a week ago. A guy purchased it. He immediately requested to cancel the purchase. And then before he even accepted the cancellation, he messaged me asking if I could do anything better on the price. I accepted the cancellation. I'm like, well, just place your best offer, but I'm not going to lower the price. He didn't even respond and then someone else bought it and now this person doesn't want me to ship it until Friday. So just a, a weird little transaction with this Donatello and I'll be glad to get rid of him and free up some shelf space and finally be rid of all of these random action figures. It's Thursday morning, gets freezing in here overnight, drops down to about 67 degrees here in the nerd lair. Sold two more games individually, Batman Arkham City. I got $7.50 for this. It is complete. I have a couple of these and I have Arkham Asylum as a Game of the Year edition too. But this is the first game I get to use my new poly bags on. I have 11 cents invested in these each. I do have a ton of bubble wrap that I've gotten for free just through the last few months. I'll get this packaged up. Everything's looking pretty clean and organized over here. I was able to get these Xbox 360 games sorted out to be listed on eBay. Next up is another Lego Batman game. And that's going to be Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. Sold this for $6.10. I do have a couple of them. Going to send it out the same way I'm sending out this other game here. Sold another video game just now, Gears of War 2 for the Xbox 360. Got it ready to go over here. And these will sell all day for $6.50. I got a few of them too, super common game. Just wanted to take a moment and give you guys a pro tip. I'm now using labels, which I hadn't in the past. I got about six cents invested into each one of these. The label doesn't actually take up the entire sticker. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting off that slack and then using it as tape on the rest of the poly bag. 
Sometimes I just need one to cinch something down or just uh, need a small piece of it to do something else. But it's better than working with scotch tape and it's cheaper too. It does seem frugal, but guys, don't throw money away. Especially if you're like me and you're only making about $1.50 on each game. I'll take the extra five seconds to cut that off and use it all the time. I got rid of my second lot of Thrasher magazines. This one had five magazines in it. The guy really went back and forth with me making best offers. These are way at the bottom here. Let me see if I can move this with one hand. So far, so good. Got it. So the guy exhausted basically all of his offers. His final one was $17. I accepted that. These will go out in media mail, and I'm happy to get $17 for these. Sold another lot of Xbox 360 games. These are Kinect titles, so they don't usually have a lot of value. I lotted these up, Dance Central 1, 2, and 3. I have a ton of 1 and 2, but not many copies of 3, so I can't make any more of these lots. But I got $13 for these. I was trying to get a little more because number one is sealed, but that's fine. I'll let these go. Next up is a single Xbox 360 game, Mass Effect 1. I have three copies of this game currently listed. I might have more in my bundle. But I got $6 for that. The other two are a little beat up, so I may update that photo. I got to start packing all this stuff up here. So that was the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up button, share this video, leave a comment below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.